Oh, the age old question of first time Doberman owners. Should I get an American or European Doberman? Look, I struggled with the same question for so long. So I finally decided to sit down and make a video that I wish I had when I was looking for my first Doberman. So today we're gonna to talk about all the differences between American and European Doberman and which one you should get. So let's break down the physical differences of these two dogs a little bit further, because they do look different. If you only see one every now and then though, um, you may think that they're the same dog, but you see them side by side and they do look different. So let me throw up a picture of both dogs, the American Doberman Pinscher and the European Doberman. Now, if you take a look at their heads, and in general, their bone structure, the American Doberman's head is a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller head overall than the European. The European's gonna have a little bit broader head and it's a little bit more blockier in shape. The muzzle is similar. The muzzle, the muzzle excuse me, on the European's also gonna be broader, a little bit thicker bone structure and blockier in appearance. Now going down a little bit further, look at the necks of these two dogs. The European's neck comes out as more of a slow rise from the body. It's a thick, shorter neck, whereas the American's neck kind of slopes up, comes up as, at a sharper angle from the body and has a little bit of an arch in it typically. And it's also just an overall thinner neck. The chest size, now the American Doberman is gonna have a little bit smaller chest than the big broad chest of the European. The, the European dog will have darker rust colored markings, whereas the American dog tends to have lighter brown colored markings. They're still, it's a similar color, it's just a lighter color than the Europeans. Uh, now, the body structure in general, there is a bit of a difference as well. Uh, the American is going to have a little bit longer body overall. It's going to have leaner muscle mass and a little bit more definition typically. Whereas a European is going to be a, a larger body, um, but usually a little bit shorter, more compact, um, and not as long. And on average, the European Doberman is going to be about 5 to 10 pounds heavier and 1 inch taller than the American variety. The easiest and quickest way to tell the difference between these two dogs in person is to just look at the neck. The neck on the American will come up much sharper and it'll have that slope in it and it'll be a thinner neck, whereas the neck on the European will be a thick neck that just kind of rises gradually from the body. Now for the temperamental differences between these two dogs. Look, there are some differences in temperament between these two and most of them stem from the differences in breeding regulations between Europe and America. In America, it's more of a free, free market open system where anyone is able to breed these dogs kind of at will. Um, the breeding is more based on, again, kind of the free market. So uh, someone who has a dog with championship lines in the, in the family history will do a lot better than a dog that doesn't and will command higher prices for puppies. So in general, if the dog has competed in a dog show, of what they call a breed confirmation show and has placed extremely well, then that dog will be bred more than a Doberman that hasn't. Now, in America, these shows, they're really just based on looks of the dog. There's a little bit of temperament um, taken into account with who wins these competitions, but most of it's how the dog looks. That's why the look of the American Doberman has kind of been refined over the years and over the generations. Now, in Europe, there's a lot more regulations surrounding the breeding of these dogs. You aren't just free to do it as you want. Um, you need a permit to breed Dobermans in Europe. And in order to get that permit, you need to pass what's called ZTP testing. And in order to get ZTP certified, your dog needs to pass a series of tests that include uh, temperament tests, uh, their protection ability, uh, their just overall nervous system, how they react in chaotic environments. They test the whole overall temperament of the dog. And if the dog is deemed stable enough and meets the requirements, then you'll get a permit to breed the dog. That's a far cry from what it is in America where pretty much anyone can breed the dog. Now there's other factors such as what's called IPO training. IPO training is a protection dog training in Europe that uh, is done by a lot of breeders. And if your dog has 
uh, title in IPO training and has done well in the past, you can command higher prices for your puppies. So that also tends to drive how these dogs are picked or which dogs are picked to breed. So a dog that needs to have passed ZTP testing and then if the dog has passed or placed well with IPO con competitions, then they're gonna command even higher prices. So in general, European dogs have split as far as the temperament has gone they've split and now you have american and european dogs with uh, very different temperaments in a lot of cases so what are these temperamental differences let's compare them side by side the american doberman is an alert loyal loving and protective dog and i like to describe the european doberman as alert loyal and loving also but i also like to throw in the word assertive and protective because they're a little bit more headstrong than the americans now the Americans are, are less likely to be physically protective if need be. They, they still may be, but they're just less likely to intervene physically if something happens. The European Doberman is certainly more likely to be physically protective of their families. The American is slightly more in tune with human emotions and sensitive to humans emotions, whereas the European um, isn't as much. They're, I still consider them in tune with their, their owner's emotions, just not as much as the Americans. Now the Americans, they just, they love to be on beds and sofas and they readily share their personal space. They have no problem being crammed into a small place with their owners. The Europeans are a little bit uh, more of a space hog. They, they sometimes like a little bit of space. They still love cuddling up on beds and sofas, but they may not allow you so close to them and crowding them. The American Doberman um, in general is usually a little bit more calmer with slightly fewer exercise requirements. Whereas the European definitely has a high stamina, they have lots of drive, and certainly um, high exercise requirements as well. Really, both of them have high exercise requirements. It's just the European has retained more of that working dog uh, drive and, and exercise requirements, so it's a little bit higher. The American really excels as a family dog, and the strong point of the European is as a working dog. They can still be great family guardians and family uh, pets, but they really excel more as working dogs. Search and rescue, uh, police trained dogs, military dogs, that kind of thing. American dogs respond very well to positive reinforcement and they're generally more sensitive to physical correction than the Europeans. And whereas the Europeans, when you're training them, you really need to have more strong direction. Now, when you're out in new or unusual surroundings, the American Doberman may need a little bit more reassurance. The European Doberman will be, certainly be a lot more confident when they're exposed to these new situations. Uh, now, when a family is threatened, the American Doberman may react with barking um, and possibly some physical intervention, and they may occasionally retreat, um, whereas the European Doberman, um, if their family is threatened, they'll react with barking and they may very well act with physical intervention, and they very rarely retreat from a situation like that. All right, the big question of the day, which one of these two dogs should you get? Let me put your mind at ease right now because I don't think you can make a wrong decision. Both of these dogs are wonderful dogs and it matters way more how you socialize them and how you train them than which variety of Doberman they are. But if I had to stereotype a little bit, let me tell you which of these two dogs you should get in which situations. An American Doberman Pincher might be right for you if you want a dog who loves a tight family environment and will stick close by your side. Uh, if you are an inexperienced dog owner because the Americans are a little bit easier to train. They love the soft training approach and uh, they're a little less headstrong. Uh, if you value a dog that uh, can read human emotion really well and is very in tuned with humans, then American might be great for you. Uh, if you love the beauty and the more elegant look of the American Doberman Pinscher, that might be a reason. Or if you want to compete in AKC or breed confirmation shows, then you might want to get American Doberman Pinscher. On the other hand, you might want to get a European Doberman if you have an active family who's always going on new outings and new places and new environments, and you want a dog that is going to be very confident in all these new environments, uh, then a European dog might be great for you. Also, uh, if you are an experienced dog handler, the European Doberman might be great because you'll fit really well with their learning style. They love clear, direct, um, firm directions and guidance, and, and they do great with that. Uh, they're a little bit harder to train than the Americans, but experienced dog handler usually does great. Um, if you want the best possible guard dog, European Doberman will be a good choice. They're stronger, they're bigger, they uh, tend to be more confident, take physical action if need be. Another great reason to get a European is just if you like the overall look, they're larger, they're bigger, they're more muscular. Some people just love that. The snout, you know, like I said, the head's a little bit wider, not so pointy. A lot of people love that. 
Um, if that's what you like, then that might be another reason to get a European. Finally, if you want to compete in any kind of working dog events, some agility events, some uh, personal protection events, or maybe you want to join a search and rescue organization and get your dog trained for that, then I would recommend a European Doberman. If you're thinking about getting your first Doberman, or maybe even your second, or your third, hit that subscribe button down below because I got new videos coming out every single week that'll guide you through every step of the process and help you out to make your decisions all along the way to make your life way easier and make your dog way happier. And hey, while you're at it, how about you hit that thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Let me know if you prefer the American Doberman or the European Doberman and why you like the dog that you picked. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next week.